Hey there, welcome to Biz Intelligence. In this video, we will take a look at how to calculate running total for non dead field using DAX major. So let's get started. In the previous video, we have seen how to calculate running total where we have dead field. If you haven't watched that video yet, go and watch that video as well. I will leave the link of that video in the description box and I button of this video. Now let's take a look at the table visual I have on my report canvas where I have product ID and unit sold and we need to calculate running total for each of these product ID. Now here we do not, do not have date field where we can compare the current roll date with other dates. Let's understand the logic that we are gonna implement to calculate running total in this case is we are gonna rank these product IDs on the basis of the total unit sold and we are gonna rank them in descending order. That means the highest number of units sold will have first rank and lowest value of a total units sold will have smallest rank. So let's go and see how to rank these product IDs using their total unit sold value. So we will go to new major. Let's create one major which will rank these product IDs. So let's give a name to this major. Let's call it running total. And first we will see how to rank these product IDs. So I will use rank X function which will rank these product IDs using their total unit sold. So first argument is table and here we will say give me all the product IDs. Expression will be the major that I already have created total unit sold which is nothing but the sum of unit sold field. Now the values will be blank and order will be descending and ties will be dense. Now what does mean ties will be dense if there are two different products with same value of unit sold in that case rank x function will rank them or give them same rank. So let's go and drag this major in our table visual and see the rank. Now you can see that I already have sorted these products using unit sold in descending order and you can see the rank is given as per their order. Now you can see the highest number of units sold for product 7 and it is ranked as 1. Now what we are gonna do is we are gonna use same logic and where we will compare the current rows rank with other product IDs rank. So what we will do is we will check whether the current rows rank give me all the product IDs where current rows rank is greater than equal to the rank of other products. So in the case of second row it will go and take this number 2 rank number 2 and it will compare with other product IDs rank and it will check whether the rank 2 is greater than the rank of product first rows rank. It will say yes this is rank 2 is greater than 1 and it will return you the first row and it will again check whether the 2 is greater than or equal to 2. It will give you second row as well and this way it will calculate running total. So let's go and amend the existing measure that we created to calculate rank. Let's go there and calculate the running total. Now let me take this rank into a variable. Let's declare one variable. Now this will be the rank of the current row and here we will have return and here we will use calculate function to calculate the running total. Now here we are gonna use the existing measure which is total unit sold sum of total unit and we will use filter function filter and here we will say give me all the product IDs where the variable that we declared which holds the rank of current row we are gonna check whether that value is greater than equal to rank of other product IDs and hence we will have to again calculate rank for all the product IDs so that the rank of current row will be compared with the rank of other product IDs. So again we will say rank x give me all the product ID expression will be sum of units sold which is a major that is already calculated values will be blank and order will be descending and ties will be dense. Now let's close this rank x function. Now let's close this filter function as well and let's close this calculate function as well. Now what is happening here it is calculating the sum of total units sold where the rank of current row 
is greater than equal to now this rank x function will calculate the rank on this table this means it will calculate the rank for all the product ids and it will check whether the rank of current rows product id is greater than equal to other product id's rank now let's hit enter and see whether we are getting the running total as per our total units sold or not now we can see for the first row it has given us 95 that means there are no other product IDs which are less than or equal to 1 because this is the highest unit sold value we have and it is ranked 1 and if you see for the second row it has calculated running total this 95 plus 92 is 187 so this is how you can calculate running total where we have non dead field if you are new on our channel then subscribe us and visit our channel to watch more such videos do not forget to like and share this video with your friends thank you for watching